find each power of i and simplify so let me remind you about the powers of i when we get i raised to 0 that's 1 i raised to 1 is just i i square negative 1 i cubed negative i all other powers are one of these four okay so if we want to find what is i of four all we have to do is divide this exponent by four okay divide by four and look at the decimal expression which is equivalent to remainder when we divide four by four four goes four one times and there is no remainder so remainder zero so remainder zero refers to the first one so i4 will be one okay let's try i raised to eight when eight is divided by four that's two right there is no remainder zero remainder so that means one again if we have i raised to 10 then when divided when we divide 10 by 4 okay 10 by 4 we can use calculator uh, 10 10 divided by 4 we get 2.5 2.5 0.5 means in fact remainder 2 and that will be 0.5 corresponds to negative 1 so i raised to 10 is negative 1 okay so we use these facts to calculate these values okay so in the first part i raised to 16 divide 16 by 4 4 divides 16 evenly 4 goes 16 4 times there is no remainder so that corresponds to the first one so 1 so i raised to 16 will be 1 and we have plus 2 1 plus 2 3 okay next i raised to 55 let's divide 55 by 4 okay then when we divide 55 by 4 we get 13.75 0 0.75 means in fact three quarters of so three remainder so 0.75 here so the third one so negative i so i raised to 55 we divided 55 by 4 we got decimal 75 just look at the decimal de decimal 75 so that's negative i so the answer is negative i okay negative i next i raised to 113 plus 7 divide 113 by 4 113 divided by 4 we get 28.25.25.25 0 0.25 means remainder of 1 okay 0.25 so i so this will be i raised to 113 is just i because the remainder is 0 0.25 this is i plus 7 that's it and if you want to write in the standard form this is 7 plus 1 i and finally i raised to 22 divide 22 by 4 okay so 22 divided by 4 gives 0.5 okay 0.5 means look at here that's 0.5 so that's negative 1 so this will be negative 1 minus 3 times i raised to 6 divide 6 by 4 you get 1.5 okay 1.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 means again negative 1 so 3 times negative 1 so negative 1 we need to multiply 3 times negative 1 negative negative positive 3 times 1 3 and minus 1 plus 3 is 2 final